So looking to recap how we divide algebra terms. Remember, one thing I want you to remember is that fractions are just another way to write a divide. And same thing, you can take a divide and write it as a fraction as well. So when we're dealing with dividing the algebra terms, we're going to divide those coefficients, those big numbers in front. And then we might subtract the powers when the bases are the same. But another way to look at that is if we write it out as a fraction, we can think about crossing one off the top and one off the bottom at a time. So the first step I might do is if it's not written as a fraction, I'll probably rewrite it as a fraction until I get my head around what I'm doing. So 8x over 2x. The first one always goes on top. second one always goes on bottom. So now I have 8x over 2x. And I'm going to think about simplifying the coefficients. So I'll look at just these things in front here right now. That's 8 over 2, and that's the same thing as 8 divided by 2. So how do I simplify 8 divided by 2? I get 4. And the next thing I'm going to look for is, are my bases the same? And in this case, they are. I have an x on top and an x on bottom. So what I can do is I can cancel them off in pairs. I'll take one off the top and one off the bottom. So I'll cancel that, and I'll cancel that meaning there's no x's left over, and my answer is just 4. If I take a look at another example, again I'll rewrite this out as a fraction. 4b over 3, sorry, 4b to the power of 3, divided by just a regular old b. First thing I'm going to look for is trying to simplify the coefficient, or simplify the numbers. I see a 4, nothing on bottom, so I could think that there's an invisible 1. But what's 4 divided by 1? It's just going to be 4 again. And now if I look at my b's, I have b to the power of 3 on top. That really means I've got 3 b's on top, and I have 1 b on bottom. So a helpful way that some people do this is to write out all 3 b's on top and the 1 b on bottom. And we take 1 off the top, 1 off the bottom, and how many are left with? We're left with 2 b's, so that becomes 4 b squared. Another way to get to the b squared is to look at the 3. There's an invisible power of 1 on the b, so 3 minus 1 gives me 2. But whether you write them all out and cancel one at a time works, or just do the subtraction as well. Now these ones are already written as fractions, which is nice. So the first thing I'm going to do is pay attention to just the numbers in front, the coefficients. So I'll think to myself, what's 20 over 5, or what's 20 divided by 5? That's going to be 4. And next thing I'll do is I'll look at the numbers. And again, here I have x to the power of 3 over x to the power of 1. So that's 3x's on top and 1x on bottom. If I take 1 off the top and 1 off the bottom, I'll get back to x squared. Looking at the next problem, here I see lots of letters in there, lots of variables. But again, let's break it down. First thing I'll deal with is the numbers in front. So what's 12 over 3, or 12 divided by 3? That is, in fact, 4 again. And now let's look at all our variables. So we'll only compare ones that are the same. So let's look at first the a's. I've got 3 a's on top and 1 a on bottom. So if I take 1 off the top and 1 off the bottom, I'll be left with 2 a's. I have 5 b's on top and 2 b's on bottom. So if I take 2 off the bottom and I take 2 off the top, I'm left with 3 b's on top. And here I see a c on top and a c on bottom, so I can just cancel those directly, and I'll have no c's left. And again, if you wanted to visualize that, we could do that as 12 with 1, 2, 3 a's, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 b's, 1 a, 2 b's, and a c, and a c. Simplifying the 12 over 3 gets me to 4. Canceling off 1b off the top and 1b off the bottom gets me 2a's on top. Canceling off in pairs, 2b's off the bottom, 2b's off the top leaves me with 3b's. And canceling off 1c on top, 1c on bottom leaves me with no c's at all. So there's my answer. Okay. So again, rewrite it out as a fraction. That can sometimes be helpful for you. And then think about simplifying the numbers in front, just like you would simplify a fraction or divide numbers and then cancelling in pairs, one off the bottom, one off the top, until you've got nothing left on the bottom.